Well, you guys, according to police, the motive of this murder is that the suspect allegedly was upset with the victim for calling the police on him. And as we went through all of the records tonight, we found out that the suspect has a lengthy record of allegedly stabbing other people exactly how this victim was murdered. Not only just a sigh of relief, but, you know, our guests really wanted justice. You know, this is this is one of their own. The homeless community in Enfield is feeling a little more at ease, knowing that John Narducci, the man who police say killed Christopher Kennedy in August, is behind bars and now charged with murder. Kennedy was a familiar face at Enfield Loaves and Fishes, where my Nicole Matthews is the executive director. He was also a part of the homeless community. Most wonderful person, sweetheart. His murder stirred fear among those who knew him. I hope that um, some of the fear and um, reluctance and discomfort that some of our guests have been feeling will be uh, will be abated a little bit. According to the arrest warrant, Narducci is allegedly known for harassing and hurting homeless people in the area. The warrant states that people in the homeless community armed themselves with knives and various weapons because they were afraid of him before this happened. And I have noticed that a lot of our guests have grouped together quite a bit more. They're kind of like staying close to each other and making sure that they're safe. According to the arrest warrant, Narducci was arrested and charged with assaulting a public safety official the same day of Kennedy's death. He's been in jail ever since. As we continue to dig deeper into the police report, it says that Narducci bragged to another person about the murder, saying, quote, I got him, stabbed him. In the arrest warrant, Narducci told detectives that he stabs people who do things to women, children, and those who snitch on him. It continues with the police detective asking him if Kennedy ever did anything to a woman that he knew. He responded, quote, no, but if he did, I would have got him before then. I can guarantee that, end quote. Also in the arrest warrant, a detective asked if there would have been more victims if Narducci wasn't arrested that day. He responded with, well, obviously. Narducci was arraigned Thursday on murder charges. Today, I'm just very happy right now and very pleased that he, you know, his family can get the justice that they deserve. And police also say that they were able to link him to this crime by bicycle parts that were left at the scene and also by DNA that they were recovered from a knife that they arrested went after they arrested him. In Enfield, DeAndrea Turner, Fox 61 News.